Welcome, watchers of illusion, to my castle of confusion. I'm looking at Minecart Madness on the NES today. This is a uh, this is this is this is an indie game. This isn't uh, what you would call an official release, but uh, going to look at it anyway. Anyway, I hope you've all been well. Um, two weeks. Sorry, guys. Uh, life has kind of got in the way and illness as well. I'm, I've actually been up all night already. I've not been to bed yet. As this goes out live today at uh, 9.30 a.m. Um, but uh, don't worry. Don't worry. I am actually on the mend. I've had a pretty shite weekend, to be fair. Uh, most of it I've been spent lay up in bed because of whatever this horrible bug has been. So after 15 hours sleep, I'm actually feeling quite awake. That's 15 hours and being up all night last night. Anyway, that's enough of my woes. So yeah, Minecart Madness, which is a great little game actually. As you can see here, the, uh, the object of the game is to collect as many crystals as you can within the time limit. Now the thing with the time limit is that it carries across to all levels. So you've got infinite lives, um, but you do not have infinite time. As you can see in the top right hand corner, the time is ticking away. And the time is your enemy, it is not your friend. So beware the timer, for when it counts down to zero, you are dead. That is it. No more. You are not allowed to continue. So, uh, it's kind of like a high score game, really. You've got to try and get as many levels and scores as you can. Now you can see it's actually quite tricky um, to get anywhere. Um, mostly because of the boulders and plus the way the levels are designed. You've got to try and figure them out. As you can see there, it fall down into the spikes. Yay! So, um, yeah. Um... Yeah, it's, it's actually really good fun though. I've done it again. <laughs> it is tiredness for you. Anyway, um, so yeah, the idea is to get the highest score that you possibly can, avoid the boulders because everything that you uh, hit will kill you. And uh, obviously, then it will lead your timer will not, you know, you, you're sort of like wasting your time a little bit there. For every death, the clock continues to count down. So, um, nice little bonus stage here. You can see I've only got 35 seconds left on the clock. It's not a great deal of time. You don't get time replenished, from what I can tell anyway. Uh, the clock just keeps on counting, so there is absolutely no way you can replenish your time. you just got to keep going and uh, hope you get a good enough score at the end of it. Um, the controls are fairly simple as well. It is, um, well, up and down to go up and down the platforms. Then you've got jump and slow down, which is another one of your uh, abilities. So you can slow your cart down a little bit, uh, in, just in case you get a little bit, uh, you know, I can slow it down there. Look, and then jump over the boulder. Um, oh, and that was that was quite uh, that was un, that was not planned. Um, and you've got that little dude in the green hat there, trying to get you that little goblin dude in his minecart. See, now we've finished because well, we've run out of time. But uh, there you go. You've got a high score now. So you've got the ability now to beat your score. So this could turn into a multiplayer game quite easily. It's, you know, get a few mates around you NES. Quite easy, because this works on actual NES hardware, just so you know. Or you can get them around your PC and uh, pass the controller. Have yourselves a multiplayer madness game where you can try and beat each other's scores, which can be quite amusing, yes. So there you go. How to turn a single player game into a multiplayer game with your friends. If you've got any friends. I mean, if you haven't got any friends, then beat your own score. There you go. Simple. Anyway, the game itself is good fun. And that is the the point, really. It's a nice little indie game. It does the job what it's meant to do. It goes out there. You can have a bit of fun with it. You can pick it up, put it down, whatever you want to do. You don't have to invest a lot of time, is what I'm saying. Two minutes, two and a half minutes on the clock, whatever you've got at the start. That's all you're going to need because that's all you've got. Ha! So, don't invest a lot of time into this. Don't invest a lot of thought because it's just a, it's just a game that you plug in, play and enjoy. Simple. All the ingredients of a good game. That's what I say. So, um, I love the little animations. They're really, really cutesy. You've got the little guy in the minecart with his little hat on, um, which obviously animates as you go, which is really nice. The sound effects and music are nice as well. I can guarantee you that you will be humming this bloody theme tune for after you've finished playing it. 
Uh, it happened to me. Uh, I had a, a quick run through before I did the review here, there. Um, and now I'm playing it now, and I've got this real, real instinct to hum the bloody tune. But I'm not going to because that would. But yeah, you know what I mean. You will be stuck humming it, I can guarantee you. <laughs> I think that was probably intentional. I don't know, but it's one of those games where, you know, and we've all, we've all been there, ladies and gents, where we've, we've played a game, and what's it done? It's got the theme tune stuck in our heads. I'll tell you, Pac-Mania, that was a good one for me. Uh, there's no way I was going to avoid that. As you can see there, the clock keeps on a ticking. But yeah, this is a great little game, and it's worth picking up. It's, uh, it's actually free, so I will provide the link in the description for you, so you can go and download it yourselves. Like I said, it works on emulation, and it works on a real NES. So... Playability, it's incredibly playable and you're gonna love it. And if you don't love it, then what's wrong with you? Anyway, um, replay value, yep, you're gonna keep coming back to this because the, the ability to try and get to higher levels this is as far as I've got so far. This is like the, the this is the, the furthest I've ever got in the game, so I don't actually know how many screens there are. But if the developer of the game is um, passing by the channel and sees this, uh, how many levels are there in total? Because I would love to know, and what is the highest level anyone's actually got to? So there's a challenge for you guys, actually. You can have a go at this game and try and beat my, my score, which is not very high, it's 38,000. Uh, but you know what? Let's see if you can do any better. It's not an easy game, but it's a lot of fun, and that, that for me is the key. Um, I think there's games out there that are uh, just stupidly um, difficult uh, when you're trying to get a score, or they, it just takes the piss a little bit. But this game doesn't. It's lovely, and um, and I think that you guys are going to love it. That's what I'd say. And I love the fact that it's got the little tutorials actually on the screen. So hold up to go up and down to go down. It's great. Actually a handheld game, so to speak. It holds your hand so you know what to do. Um, age range is pretty much any because it's literally a few controls. And, you know, the, the graphics are pretty enough for kids to get involved with. So let them have a go. That's what I say. Um... There's not really any frustration here, it's all down to timing, like that was rubbish timing, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. However, I think you guys will enjoy this one. Give it a try, give it a chance. It's not very often we get new NES titles, but when we do, they turn out to be little gems. No pun intended, as that's what we're collecting. But um, I'm quite enjoying this, and uh, like I said, the theme tune is going to get you humming along, because well, it does that really really does that um, so all in all it's a great little game and I think it's worth a download especially as you don't have to pay for it so there you go just go and thank the developer and if you can you know you can name your own price do it give them a quid give them a couple of quid give them a tenner who cares we need to support these people because they're the ones that are bringing us brand new content for machines that have been long lost in time so there we go I would like to say thanks to the developer because it's been great fun for me to go ahead and have a go at this. So thanks very much for bringing that to the NES platform and I hope you guys get lots of orders and uh, for future games and all that jazz. So there we go. Um, so all that remains for me to say really is that uh, I do apologize. I shouldn't be uh, too far off again. Um, not another two weeks. Anyway, I've been doing some streaming as well, just to catch you up a little bit. Uh, go on to my Twitch channel and follow me because I do streaming quite regularly on an evening. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, most Saturdays. So there's always something going on. So I, uh, I will be trying to do some uh, YouTubing at some point, some YouTube live, but uh, I, I did try and do a test bit the other day. It just seemed to work. So if you got a notification that I went live, I did, sort of. Uh, just the intro, though. So anyway, hope you guys are all well. I'll be back very soon. Take care for now. Until then, bye-bye.